So for example, we take the same line, ls2x plus y equals 5, then we know that 0, 5 belongs to the line. Yeah? Since 2 times 0 plus 5, 1 times 5 equals 5. Then x belongs to the line, L, if and only if the inner product of 2, 1 times the difference vector x minus 0, 5 is 0. Now we're just going to check if this is truly what we want to have. Well, the inner product of 2, 1 with x minus 2, 1 in a product with 0, 5 equals 2x plus y, which are the coordinates x, y are the coordinates of x, minus 2 times 0 plus 5 times 1 equals 2x plus y minus 5, which is 0, of course. Another example. Yeah, here we see an arbitrary, again the same line, an arbitrary vector p on, on the line. We have the normal of the line and we have a direction vector of the line L. So x minus p can be written as a multiple of d. And this picture, the t that belongs uh, to the description would be negative since it's pointing the other way than the direction vector d. And this vector d is just perpendicular to the vector n, the normal of the line. So what we see through this description is that x equals p plus t times the, the direction vector. This is called the general parametric description of the line. And the vector P is a special one, yeah, since it points at some point at the line. And in a way it supports the line. Yeah, we can can reach any x on the line by first walking to the line and then going into the direction of d. So d is called the direction vector. So x equals a support vector plus a multiple times the direction vector. So for instance if we take p equal to 1, 3, which is on the line, then we get as a description for all elements on the line, L, this particular P plus T times 1 minus 2, which is the direction vector of the line. So it's important to notice that, that this representation is is not unique. So for any different support vector P we get a different description of the line, but if you vary over all T we get the same line back. 